I believe that Mr. Papa definitely uh, turned himself around, and uh, he seems like he's going in the right direction. Um, he definitely he got the education in prison. Is that correct, Mr. Papa? Yes, I got three college degrees while I was in prison. Okay, I mean that, that's a tremendous advantage to an individual. I don't believe you paid for that education, did you? Oh, the taxpayer paid for two out of three degrees. See, I mean, I paid a lot of money for my education. Um, I'm sure it took me longer than it, it probably took you. And um, I just don't think that, that, that that's a good issue. I mean, uh, I'm still paying my, my college tuition off, and uh, you got a free I, ride. I, I didn't get a free ride. I spent 12 years in a cage like an animal, and I did everything I could to rehabilitate myself in the best way. And I took advantage of education. It was there and I took it. I'm a better person now than I was uh, 12 years ago. And I think this caller makes the point I want to make. There are walls of silence that are built around the prisons of the United States. And these walls, in turn, build barriers that blind the public from the truth about the prison experience. And I think this is a perfect example. Uh, 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 there's been surveys that said that education reduces the rate of recidivism. Now. Wouldn't it make common sense to give somebody an education in prison, that person return to society and be a contributing citizen in a positive way? Let me ask Jim Gondles about that.